Okay guys, I am filming my intro to my most awaited, <laughs> I have to say that because like I've had so many people ask for this video, I'm finally doing it. So I hope you enjoy. I know you guys don't really see my face a lot on the channel. Um, like I said in my last video at the very end, if you didn't watch it all the way through, I explained that I'm going to do some more of a different kind of style content here in a little bit. I'm going to be doing more shot my sash videos. I'm going to try to do some vlogging. I've never done it before, so it's going to be a little weird and strange for me, but we will try to get through it together. I might do some cleaning, organization, and decluttering videos. Um, I have two kids and I have a lot of dogs, <laughs> so I have a very messy house a lot. So if you guys enjoy like cleaning and decluttering videos, organization styles, I'm going to be doing some of those. But Let's get into my long-awaited Shop My Sash video. So I'm going to flip the camera around, but before I do a Shop My Sash video is where you save money by shopping your stash of makeup or skincare or any kind of stuff like that. This one is strictly makeup. I'm going to be shopping my sash for the next week of makeup. I'm going to be trying to do better at using up my makeup. I did buy some new stuff um, because a lot of my old stuff had expired, which is why I did a declutter closer to the end of last year. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you go check those out. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Click that notification bell so that way you can get notified of every time I upload. And let's get into the Shop My Stash. Okay, so as you can see, I have... <laughs> Like this whole get up right here. It's very messy. I am in my bathroom. I have all of my eyeshadow palettes right here that I have kept. I have the stuff that I'm getting rid of over in that little clear tote. And there's all the other stuff that I need to organize and whatnot. But um, we are just strictly going to be going through my Alex five drawer unit. This one doesn't close. I swear there's something behind it in the back of it and I can't get to it. So I'm, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Anywho, let's go ahead and start with the top drawer. Um, all of my makeup has been reorganized, rearranged and everything. These are strictly my sprays. So um, I think I only have like one skincare one and that's this one. It is from the Rodeal. It's got a lot of dog hair on it. Guys, I have four dogs, okay? I'm going to have dog hair on <laughs> That is so gross. Um, anywho, I am going to go ahead and grab my Charlotte Tilbury. That's literally how much I have left of this whole bottle. I love this so much. I want to get, you know, done with it. So we're going to grab that one. But I'm also going to grab um, one of my mini MAC Fix. I've had these for a bit and I haven't even reached for any of these. I like this one. This is the cherry blossom one and it works well, but I just kind of want to get some of these like minis out of the way. I've been using this one. It's almost done. I like it. I probably would buy a full size, but as you can tell, I have so many. So we're just going to go ahead and grab one of the mini fix plus from MAC as well. Next drawer is my concealers, my face palettes, and my powders. Um, I do have a powder back here. It's my backup for my Laura Mercier. And I really like this one, but I need to go ahead and get this out of my collection. I've had it for quite a while and I have maybe a third left. This is the Rose Jeffree Star. I need to finish it, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab for this one. And that's all I'm gonna use for um, powder this week. I think I'm gonna go ahead. This is a color corrector from Clinique, the even better um, all over primer. It's kind of like a peachy tone. So I'm grabbing this as my color corrector for my dark circles under my eyes. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my CoverGirl. I really like this one. I don't have a lot of concealers. I'm very picky. I decluttered a lot. And I also um, saw that some of them were expired. So I literally have, these two are two different colors, um, which is why I have both. It is the two and the 3.75. I got the 3.75 free for review from Influencer, and then I got the two. So this one's more of a peachy undertone, the one on the bottom, and then the other one's kind of more of a yellow, but I don't know. They both, I haven't really used the 3.75 one, so I'm not sure how that one works. Um, I don't think I'm going to grab for, I never grab for these. I always say that I'm going to grab for something and then I just never do. Uh, I need to get some more use out of these. This is the um, Monar Monarca palette. It's got like two highlighters and the rest are blush. I guess I'm going to grab this one and I can use it for blush and highlight. So that way I can focus on those. These are back there. Those are my um, backups. So I have... Uh, uh, primer and then two foundation back there. So, um, but I have my lipstick, my mascara here, and then my brow and eyeliner. Um, I only really reach for these two of my brow products. These are the Benefit Gimme Brow and then the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This one's the gel, this one's the pencil, so I'm gonna grab these two. And I'm gonna try my Tent Idol, from, or my Lash Idol from Lancome. I'm not sure how, it feels really lightweight, which means I don't know if it's expired and dried out, or if it's just always li like really lightweight. And if that one isn't good anymore, I think I'm going to try this one. This is the Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal. I've never tried it. Uh, I just, I don't know. I've had it for a while and I never opened it. So I know it's still like good. So we'll see how this one works. And if not, I will just grab for another one later. But so I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab this um, Too Faced Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I always grab a pencil for my bottom lashes. I'm going to grab the Because one. This one is in basic black, and so is this one. This one's a black, deepest black. And then I think, yeah, I think I'll just grab these two. Lipstick, I always match my lipstick to go with whatever eyeshadow look I feel it goes best with. And so I'm going to go ahead and not choose a lipstick. You guys know I usually match it up with my eyeshadow, depending on deep or whatever, how dark it is. Then, then I'm getting into my concealer, whatever, primer and foundation. As you can tell, I have some in new packaging. I did get the Pat McGrath. Mine is in the shade... I don't know. Like I said, I haven't even opened it. So light six. Um, and then I got the Chanel Less Beige in B20. And the Chanel Fond de Ton in B20. I don't know if that's what it is. Fond de Ton. I also got the, whoa. I also got the Mario... One in two neutral. The even better that you guys you guys haven't seen these. The even better um in CN twenty CN O two and the Rem Fair two N. So I got those and then I have all my other normal ones. This one's been separating on me. I think this is my old one. I think I need to maybe, I think that's the one I have. Is it? Is this the one I just threw down? 
yeah okay so if you guys see that that's really gross and i'm pretty sure that's probably saying it's expired so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and put it in here and just i'm gonna throw this other one this one away because dude i'm not putting that shit on my face okay <laughs> so that's going in the trash but let's actually pick a foundation to use um, I believe I haven't even reached for this in a while. I don't know if it still goes well with my skin. I think it might be a little too deep. This is the number five luminous silk from Giorgio Armani. I'm going to grab that just to see how it works with me. Um, and see if it is still a good shade match. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got the NARS, um, Mont Blanc in L2. The neutral one. It'll focus. There we go. Um, and I think it's good. I don't think I found a good um, primer to use before it. I'm going to grab this Chanel one. I haven't used it yet. Obviously, it's still in the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, give it a try, see how I like it. So now we have two foundations, and I am going to... What is this? I haven't used this e.l.f. Soft Velvet Primer. Um, the, I really like this NYX Angel Veil. Um, the Oper Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. And then I just got this from my Beautylish box. This is a Glow Serum. I don't know. The Shiseido, I don't feel like this one works very well on me. I don't have too many primers that I'm actually liking. Mm -hmm. Um, Have I even used this? I don't think I've used this. The Smoother. And I know I like this one. This is a power grip. Guys, I'm so indecisive. I'm going to try this glass correct, and I'm also going to grab my Angel Veil, and we are going to see how these two go with these foundations that I chose. Next, I guess lastly, I'm going to go into my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters, so this whole row minus that right there is bronzer. These are all blush, and these are all highlighter. And the highlighter goes all the way to the back, and so does the blush. So, I, I think, like I said, I chose um, a highlighter already, so I'm in blush, so I'm just gonna grab a bronzer, and I don't believe I've used this river one, in a while so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this it's like a duo okay I finally opened it after like 12 hours so we've got the left side which has the glow and then the matte side on the right so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and that's gonna be it okay so I am going to be putting my makeup in here as best I can I still don't have a perfect setup yet. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure everything out and how I want things. But we are going to put away in here everything that I just picked up. So it's probably going to get fast forward. So here we go. Okay, that was it. Super simple. I didn't put anything down here. My spray is way too long for that, so I just kind of like put it right up there. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't have too much stuff in here. I mean, which isn't a bad thing, but that is going to be the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. 
Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. It was so great to see you. I hope that, you know, this is something that you guys continue enjoying. Um, so again, just leave me a comment below, like this video if you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a wonderful day and remember to stay beautiful.